Hello, I'm Elke Reinhuber, Chair of the Annual Sustainability Award for FIP Projects at ADM. The scope of this meaningful award, initiated in 2016 by Lucy Davis, is to encourage ADM students to think about human relationships to the natural world in their creative practice and address key problems in an unconventional and inspiring manner. The fourth award for the best FIP in response to this purpose was selected on the 25th of May, fully online. In this way, an international jury could come together from America, Europe and Australia with members from the Green Humanities Network at NTU. You will also find further information about the projects and jury members on the Sustainability Award website. Members of the jury were Founding member of the ADM sustainability team Astrid Kensinger, who joined from Brisbane, Australia. I myself was only observer and moderator without a vote. Assistant Professor Dr. Chu Kyo Wai from Green Humanities at NDU. Associate Professor Dr. Miles Powell from the Environmental Humanities Research Cluster at NTU. Scientist, artist, and educator Isabel Desieux, who is based in Singapore. Assistant Professor Dr. Faisa Binti Zakaria, also associated with the Green Humanities Research at NTU. Professor Benchet joined from Linköping University in Sweden and was supporting pillar of the ADM sustainability team for many years, which also can be said about artist and associate professor Meridel Rubinstein, who also joined from Sweden. All of them unite their appreciation for our environment as well as their interest in art design and media. I will briefly share some of the notes by the jury and announce the awarded projects. The BOSS award goes to a project which was skillfully and imaginatively executed. It's a strong example of a necessary educational tool to deepen young people's experience of soil and understanding of an ecological system. A very good example of design for education, community and good. Hands on, informative, playful and real. It is the interactive wall installation Fertile by Vienna Lee Lindzin. For the Silver Award, the jury highlighted that the evocative interactive 3D printed sculptures demonstrate our need for relationship and shared empathy. It was also described as interactive post-nature life that evokes an uncanny empathy through sensual materiality. An excellent evocative experience with the strange stranger. The strong relationship of the viewer to this work was the basis for the jury's choice. This is the interactive installation Encounter by Mok Chia Man. Before I will announce the Gold Award, I'm very pleased to introduce a special award for social sustainability, which will be given out for the first time this year. The jury felt very strongly about the multimedia installation which reenacts stories of racial prejudice, immerses the audience skillfully in such a situation and aims to provoke empathy and understanding. The award for social sustainability goes to Margaret Suhasini Anthony with her immersive installation 21st July. For the Gold Award, the judging panel voted and counted three times, every time with the same result, which means I'm very happy now to announce two Gold Awards. The jury summarized that the audio installation creates a sonic environment overlaying several pressing environmental themes. Most important is how urban dwellers will relate to nature as more and more species become extinct and the sound of their presence dies. The combination of poetics and facts is beautifully displayed in a moving immersive installation. Through the lens of sustainability, Hertz poetically addresses preservation and archiving by capturing and sharing what is fleeting and nearly extinct. A beautiful exploration of permanence, presence and represence through a fusion of art, technology and poetics. The jury felt this work was the most evocative of the submissions. Our congratulations to Cheryl Sim for her audio installation Hertz. For the second project being awarded gold, it was highlighted how brilliantly it transposes an art historical genre, the 17th century Dutch still life Memento Mori paintings, onto newly created images endowed with environmental urgency. The well researched accompanying maps of the data about the longevity of these plastic objects locate the work as well in urgently needed environmental research. A visually rich photo exploration that weaves art history with contemporary issues. Deep, dark, disturbingly beautiful, gorgeously executed with a reverberating message of death that speaks to the current times. The jury felt this work was the strongest in its combination of artistic skills, strong conceptual thinking and rigorous environmental concerns. Congratulations, Eng Zeng, for your photographic series Still Alive.
A big thank you to all of you who submitted to the award, considering sustainability in your projects and congratulations to all nominated students for the award and congratulations to all FYP graduates 2020.